Welcome to another Alp Cycles yoga video. I'm yogi and instructor Jennifer Sharp, and today I'm going to be sharing with you various moves that will ease some discomfort you may feel in your bodies. The little dog you see walking around here and there is my little dog Moochie. Uh, last week, unfortunately, we lost Moonly, our 14 year old pup. So I'm actually doing my yoga practice where he would lay all the time in tribute to him. So. Yeah, we can feel his presence. So whether you're a frontline worker, an essential service provider, or just feeling stressed out from the way of the world right now, this video is for you. Specifically, we're going to be addressing the shoulders, neck, hips, sore knees, sciatica, and work in some gentle inversions and balance poses. We've got a lot to cover, which is awesome. <laughs> Uh, but I want to remind you that this is your yoga practice and that you really need to listen to what's going right in your body or going on in your body. So if you feel any sharp shooting pains, make sure to stop. Um, but a little discomfort is okay. So, but we don't want to over push it. Prop wise, I highly recommend having a foam roller, a yoga block, a blanket, and... Yeah, a yoga mat if you want. Um, that way you can really feel the effects of the myofascial release that we're going to focus on for those shoulders, for the hips, for the back, etc. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you want to go ahead and come to a comfortable seat on your mat, I like to prop myself up using a yoga blanket, mainly because my hips and my knees don't come down to the ground. And sorry about Mochi in the background. She's the keeping watch on the neighborhood, making sure everyone's wearing their masks. <laughs> yeah. Great. And so from a comfortable seated position, you just want to make sure that your sit bones are rooted down into the ground. You might want to shift from left to right and kind of move the flesh from your buns out of the way. And really rooted down into the ground, sitting up nice and tall making sure that your spine is really erect. Your hands can rest on your knees or in your lap in a comfortable position, whatever feels right for you. And from here, go ahead and close your eyes and travel inside. Take a deep breath in and exhale out. Breathe in. And out. Keep breathing. We start with the breath as a way of grounding ourselves, of bringing ourselves present to the practice. As a reminder of being mindful of what's going on in our bodies. Good. And on an inhale, expand your belly, your chest, your throat, and exhale, throat, chest, belly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Inhale, belly, chest, throat. Exhale, throat, chest, belly. Good, continue on, focusing on those body parts. And as you expand your belly, your chest, your ribs, you need to count of four. So inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Good, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one. Good, inhale, one, two, three, four, pause, exhale, four, three, two, one. Good, inhale, one, 
two, three, four, pause. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Good, inhale through the nose, exhale through your mouth. Awesome, from here, gently flutter open your eyes. Bring your hands down on either side of your hips. And on an inhale, raise your arms overhead, palms press. Exhale, hands down to your heart center. Good, again, inhale your arms out and up, palms press. Exhale, hands down to heart center. Good, inhale your arms out and up, palms press. Exhale, hands down to heart center. Good, bring your hands down to the mat. Go ahead and keep your right hand planted down by your right hip. Inhale your left arm up. And exhale, bending over to the right. Getting a nice side body stretch from your hips to the tips of your left fingers. You're probably leaning in opposite direction than I am right now, and that's okay. <laughs> Good, inhale back through center, left hand down, right arm up, and bending over to the left. Maybe you feel some cracks, maybe you hear some pops, maybe some muscles are protesting. We're just checking in, saying hello, getting a nice gentle warm up. Good, bring your hands back down by your hips, and lean your neck over to the right. So your right ear to your right shoulder. Good, and then back through center and then over to your left. Good, back through center. And then bringing your head, your chin down toward your chest. Good, back through center. This time bring your right hand back behind you. And put it on your lower back. And then we're gonna lean over to the left. Maybe feeling a little bit more of a sensation on that right side, on that right neck and shoulder. Good, inhale back through center. Release your right hand and switch it with your left. So your left hand is back behind you. Have mercy. And then go ahead and lean over to the right. Notice one side might be different than the other. Just notice. No judgment. Good, coming back through center. Inhale your arms out and overhead. Exhale them down by your sides. Awesome, wash your shoulders, down your back. And from here, go ahead and bring your hands forward, your hips, and walk your hands <coughs> gently forward. Mochi. Hey. You can see. <laughs> Mama. I know, are they not wearing the mask? <laughs> Good. Getting a nice, um, gentle hip opener in that. Whatever foot is laid is forward, in front of the other. Maybe you feel nothing here. Maybe your hips are super open, and if so, Right on, rock on. Good, one more breath in, breath out. We're gently walking your hands back up towards you. Go ahead and uncross your legs and recross them the other way. Good, grow nice and tall, lengthen your spine. And then exhale, gently walk your hands forward. Maybe this hip feels totally different, maybe more open, maybe less, maybe the same. Again, just noticing. Good, breathe in, breathe out. One more breath in, and out. Gently walking your hands back up, sitting up right. And let's go ahead and come onto our hands and knees. So moving maybe the pillow or blanket out from underneath your hips. Awesome. 
From here, we're going to come into cat-cow. So this is a position where you want to make sure that your hips are stacked over your knees and your shoulders are stacked over your elbows and those are stacked over your wrists. You may spread your fingers wide to give yourself a nice big platform to push from. And on an inhale, tuck your toes, dip your belly, look up towards the ceiling. And exhale, round your spine, untuck your toes for cat. Inhale, tuck your toes, dip your belly, look up. Exhale, back for cat. Inhale, back up for cow. Dip your belly, look up. Exhale for cat. And this time, bring your hips towards your heels. Into child's pose. Your knees can be wide or they can be together, whatever feels good in your body. You want to make sure that your hands are spread out in front of you. You're getting a nice little release through your shoulders. Good. And on an inhale, go ahead and walk your hands over to the right, keeping your hips down towards your heels and feeling a nice side body stretch. Good. Deep breath in and out. Coming back through center and over to the left side. Good. Hips are still down towards your heels. Feeling that nice side body stretch. Good. And coming back through center. And on an inhale, rock yourself forward to all fours. Great. In front of a neutral tabletop, bring your left hand underneath your face. Inhale your right arm towards the sky, and exhale, thread the needle. So right arm goes underneath, you land on your right shoulder, maybe your hands stay there, or maybe you want to walk them forward, and maybe you want to tent up on top of your, to your fingertips. Again, this is your practice. Do what feels right in your body. Good, another breath in. Now, gently walk your hands back to frame your face. Inhale your right arm towards the sky. And exhale, land it down to a neutral tabletop position. Bring your right hand underneath your face. Inhale your left arm up towards the sky. And exhale, thread the needle, landing onto that left shoulder. Maybe your hand stands right there, framing your face. Maybe you walk your fingers forward. Maybe you tent up on top of your fingertips. You can mirror the other side or you can do what feels right in your body. Good, on an inhale. And then exhale. And empty. Good, walk your fans back to frame your face. Inhale your right, left arm towards the sky. Exhale, land it down into tabletop position. <laughs> Great, from here we're actually gonna grab our foam rollers. So go ahead and grab your foam roller, if you got one. We're gonna place it down on our mat, come into a seated position. And I want you to roll back so that you put the foam roller kind of just underneath your the lower part of your shoulder blades, or for the ladies, the bra strap line. Good, from here, bring your hands back behind your head to support your neck. And on an inhale, raise your hips off the ground. And then exhale, let's go ahead and roll back and forth gently along the spine. Just kind of giving our scapula and our shoulders a nice little release in our upper backs. You wanna make sure that you're not dipping in, like letting your Lower back dip, you want to give it support, so make sure you engage your core here. Good, rolling back and forth. Awesome. Good, lower your hips down to the ground. Go ahead and sit up, and then come over onto one side, either side that you like. And we want to use that foam roller and bring it right into your armpit. From here, use your left hand to support your neck. And then we're gonna actually rock back and forth. So towards the front of the room and towards the back of the room. Kind of opening up our scapula. This area can get so tight, oh my goodness. 
but all it requires is just a little bit of love to release it. So if you find a spot that's particularly sensitive or just giving you a lot of sensation, go ahead and pause there for a moment. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out, and then rocking back and forth a little bit more. Seeing if you can release that area. Go ahead. Good. Use your hands to support you. Press yourself back up to a seated position and switch sides. Good, bringing that foam roller directly underneath your armpit on the other side. Your hips can be stacked, your knees can be stacked on one another. And then we're gently rolling back and forth. Giving ourselves some nice myofascial release. Great. Again, if you find a spot that's really sensitive, go ahead and stop, pause there. Breathe into it. Allow yourself to relax a little bit into it and then start gently rock, rocking back and forth. Mm. Mochi is a busy, busy girl. <laughs> she gets us on her toes, that's for sure. Good, and using your hands to support you, go ahead and press back up to a seated posture. And from here, we're gonna roll our glutes out actually. So bring your foam roller underneath Let's start on our right cheek. Good. And I'm, I'm kind of leaning over to my right, onto my right hip, and I'm just gonna rock back and forth on that right glute. Using my right hand to support me, maybe extending that, that right leg out, using the left leg to help me rock back and forth. Good. And then let's go switch on to the other glute. The left side. Rocking back and forth. If you don't do foam rolling every day, I highly recommend it. <laughs> it's so good for you and it hydrates your tissues. Good. Come on, go ahead and come on down onto your rump. And from here, we're going to bring our left leg maybe to the outside of your foam roller, coming up onto the hamstring. So we're rocking back and forth on the hamstring. Again, if you have any areas that are like wowza, go ahead and pause there. Maybe shifting back from left to right. Foam rolling doesn't necessarily always have to be up and down. You can go left to right, you can pulsate. Yeah, it's good stuff. Good, and then switching on to the other, the other hamstring. I like to kind of, if you're a numbered person and you wonder how long you should do a foam roll, like it's always nice to have a number, so count to 10 or maybe five or whatever number that you like. That way you're, you're giving both sides of the body kind of an even amount of time. Good. And then we're gonna switch to our calves. So go ahead and, and put your foam roller underneath your calf, prop yourself up, and then back and forth on the long neck calf. Wowza. <laughs> it's good stuff. Three. Four. Notice that my hips are propped up. That makes it easier to rock back and forth. Good. And switching out to the other side. Again, hips are lifted. Using my right leg as leverage. And my left leg. My foot is kind of just relaxed. So that way I can really get into those tissues pretty good. If it's flexed, then it's, it's harder to get into the deeper parts of the myofascia. Awesome. Cool. And then, of course, we're cyclists, so we have to make sure that we give our quads and our AT bands a little love, as painful as that might be. I like to start with my foam roller down by my knee, not ever on the knee, but close to it. And then kind of doing a rocking motion back and forth. 
with those uh, ring tights, let's go say. Good. And then coming off that side and switching to the left. Again, starting near the knee. And one side might be totally different. This one's a little more, I guess you could say tight. <laughs> Good, and then last, but certainly not least, and probably the least favorite of everyone's foam rolling exercise is to hit that IT band. So coming on to, let's start with our left side. Coming on to the left side, you can use your right leg to support you. You're gonna actually be rolling on that IT band that stretches from your knee all the way to your hip. And four, five. Good, and then switching sides over to the right. Coming on to that right hip using that left leg as a kickstand in front of you. Your hands can support you. And rolling back and forth. Again, if you have a sticky point, kind of rock it back and forth. Yeah, you're loving me or you're cursing me right now. I know it. <laughs> you're welcome. Good, great. Okay, so set your foam rollers aside for the moment. And from here, come back into tabletop. So remember, stacking your shoulders over your elbows, over your wrists, and your hips over your knees. Tuck your toes, dip your belly, look up for cow. Exhale, back for cat. Inhale, back up for cow. Tuck your toes. This time, come back through neutral. Spread your hands really wide. And press up through your feet raising your hips toward the ceiling, keeping your knees bent, and walking back and forth through your first down dog. This is actually your first inversion of the day, which is awesome. This pose is such a universal pose. It adjusts so many different things, blood pressure, sciatica, you're getting some work in your shoulders. Yeah, it kind of hits it all. Calves are opened up, your hamstrings are opening up. Good, and on an inhale, look between your thumbs and slowly, gently walk to the top of your mat. Toes are touching, heels are slightly apart. On an inhale, hands on your shins, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Good. Toe heel your feet out about shoulder width or hip width apart. Bend your knees a lot, especially if you have tight hamstrings. Drop your head, maybe interlace your fingers on the inside of your elbows. We're just basically ragdolling here, so maybe shifting from left to right. Again, shaking the head, yes or no. Good. Drop your hands down back down to the floor. Toe heel, your feet back to touch, your toes to touch. And on an inhale, slowly roll up. One vertebra at a time with your head being the last thing to come up. And wash your shoulders down your back. Palms facing in front of the room. Good, and on an inhale, arms out and up, palms press. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Maybe you have a slight bend in your knees. On an inhale, hands to your shins, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, your arms out and up. Reverse swan dive up, palms press. Exhale, hands down by your sides. Good, from here, go ahead and inhale your arms out and up, palms press. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right leg back for a low lunge. Good, from here we should be feeling it a little bit in our hip flexor, our right hip flexor. Plant your right hand on the inside of your left foot. And on an inhale, revolve open. 
doing a nice twist. And making sure your hips aren't swinging off to the left, not swinging to the right, they're kind of centered. Good, bring your left hand down to plane your foot and step back into downward dog. On an inhale, come forward to plank. Uh, exhale, lower halfway all the way to the ground. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, back to the ground. Inhale, tuck your toes. Maybe you come up through plank. Maybe you come up through tabletop. And then exhale, back to downward dog. Good. Inhale your left leg towards the sky. Exhale, plant it between your hands. Staying here for a low lunge, looking forward, getting a nice stretch. This side of the body. Oh, we already did this side. My apologies. That's okay. We'll do it twice. Good. Great. Leave your hands planted down to the ground and gently walk your right foot to meet your left. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive up, palms press. Exhale, hands down by your side. Good, going back in to the other side. Inhale, your arms up and out and up, palms press. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, palms on shins. Exhale, plant your hands down. This time, step your left leg back. Good, getting a nice low lunge. Feeling that open up that left side, that left hip flexor. Plant your left hand down by your right foot. And on an inhale, open up towards the ceiling. Good. Making sure that that left leg that's extended behind you is nice and straight and strong. You're hugging the muscles to the bone. Good. Exhale your hand down to frame your foot. And step back into downward dog. Inhale your right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, plant it between your hands. Here we are in the low lunge again. Getting that hip flexors open once again. Good. And hopping forward, bringing that left leg to meet the right. On an inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive up. Palms press. Exhale, hands down by your side. <clears throat> From the top of the mat, inhale your arms out and up, palms press. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, hands to shins. Exhale, hands plant down onto the mat, step back to a plank. And from high plank, you can shift forward. Maybe bring your knees down, lower yourself down to the ground. Inhale, up up dog or cobra. Exhale back to downward dog. Good. Inhale your right leg towards the sky. Exhale, bring it down in between your hands. Pivot your back foot down at a 45 degree angle. And you want to make sure that your feet are really good foundation. So you feel nice and steady. You've got equal pressure through your back foot as well as your front foot. Your heel, you're maybe a little, I'm about, I would say four inches apart on my feet position. I'm not on a tight rope. Good. And once your feet are stacked, keeping your knee directly over your ankle, not coming above the toes or back. And here I'm pressing up and raising my hands up to a warrior one. Good. This opens up the left side of the body. Go ahead and release your hands down back behind your back and clasp your hands or maybe using a strap. Find that difficult. Washing your shoulders, bend your back, lift up towards the ceiling on an inhale. And on an exhale, forward fold. Maybe your hands leave your back. Maybe they stay there if they're super tight. Maybe they come up and over your head, which is impressive. So we're just giving our shoulders a little more love. Good, this is called Humble Warrior. My body's on the inside of my right knee. Good. And 
Remember that your hands down to your back. On an inhale, press yourself back up for warrior one. Exhale your hands down to bring your front foot. Step back into downward dog. Good. On an inhale, bring your left leg towards the sky. Exhale, step it between your hands. Pivot that right foot back down at a 45 degree angle. Again, I have about four inches between my left foot and my right foot. Making sure my toes are spread wide. I've got even distribution from both the front and the back foot. My knee is stacked over my ankle. And once that foundation is set, I can push myself up into a warrior one. Palms are facing one another. Pinkies are wrapped in. Good, and dropping my hands down by my sides, clasping them back behind my back. This time, reposition your hands so that they're awkward, weird way. Good, on an inhale, look up towards the ceiling, washing your shoulders down your back, and on an exhale, lean forward into Humble Warrior. Again, maybe your hands are just here. That's enough of a shoulder opener. Maybe they're a little more, maybe they're overhead, maybe they're touching the ground. Rock on if they are. Good. Humble warrior. Awesome. Go ahead and release your hands down to your lower back. Press through your feet and then inhale up to warrior one. Exhale, hands bring that front foot. Step back. Two, down dog. Ripple forward to plank. Exhale, halfway all the way to the ground. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, back, downward dog. Good, maybe you're pedaling through your dog again. Hopefully that back line is opening up just a little bit more. On an inhale, bring your right leg towards the sky. Exhale, step it through your hands. Pivot your back foot down to a warrior one position, so 45 degree angle. On an inhale, rise your arms up. Warrior one. Good. And now we're going to open up into warrior two. Let's switch sides for you guys. So here in warrior one, this time I'm bringing my left leg in line with my right heel to left foot arch. And then I'm opening my arms up parallel to the ground, shoulders down away from the back, gazes over the middle fingers on the right hand. Good. On an inhale, reverse your palm, front right palm, and reverse your warrior, keeping a bend into that right knee. And on an exhale, bringing my right elbow to my right knee for extended side angle. Left hand can reach overhead, drawing a nice line from my left foot all the way to my left fingertips. Gaze can be down at the ground, or it can be up towards the ceiling, or maybe straight ahead of you. Good, using your left hand to guide you up, go ahead and come back up to a warrior two position. Reverse your warrior, flipping that front palm, getting a nice side body stretch. And go ahead and straighten that front right leg and tipping over towards the front of the room. Tip, 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 tip. Into a nice side angle, triangle. So your, hand, your right hand can land anywhere you like. Um, you wanna make sure that you've got a nice, a little micro bend into your right knee. You're not locking it out. Same is true with your left leg. My hand can land on my shin. Maybe you're flexible, it could land on your ankle, or maybe you're even more amazing it can land on the inside of that foot, or maybe to a block. Do what feels right in your body. Good, this is actually an amazing move for your sciatica. Great. And left hand can come to left hip. Go ahead and bend into that right leg. Look about six inches in front of your foot and six inches off to the right. And on an inhale, slowly, gently walk your left leg up and maybe balance it up. 
for what's called half moons. You can keep your left hand where it is, or you can extend it up towards the ceiling. Your gaze can look down towards the ground, it can look in front of you, or it can look up towards the ceiling if you're feeling adventurous. You're challenging your balance here. Good, bring your right hand back to your hip, look down towards your right toes, and gently step back into a warrior two position. Awesome, hands cartwheel down, bring your front foot, step back to a high plank, lower halfway or all the way to the ground. Inhale up, up dog or up cobra. Exhale back, downward dog. Awesome. Going into the other side, inhale your left leg towards the sky. Exhale, bring it in between hands. Pick that back foot down. Coming into a warrior one position. Great, and now we're gonna open up into warrior two. So we're learning, making sure that our knee is directly over your ankle. Your left heel is in line with your right arch. Arms are open up and parallel to the ground. Shoulders down away from the ears. Gaze is over your left middle finger. Good. On an inhale, flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, getting a nice side body stretch. And then exhale your left hand to your left knee, I'm sorry, your left elbow to your left knee. Right arm reaches overhead. Maybe you're looking down. Maybe you're looking towards to the side of the room or maybe up towards the ceiling. Whatever feels right in your neck. Good. And using that right hand to guide you back up to your warrior two position. Flip that front palm, reverse your warrior. And this time straighten that front left knee. Getting a nice extend a reverse triangle. And on an inhale, parallel your hands to the ground. Reach forward, forward, forward towards the front of the room. And maybe your left hand lands onto your shin. Maybe it lands onto your ankle. Maybe it lands onto the ground or a block. And right hand can either come to your hip or it can extend towards the ceiling. Good. Should feel a nice lengthening through your hamstrings. Awesome. Remember to give your left leg a nice little micro bend. We're not locking out here for all my flexible people, hyper extenders. Making sure that right knee is, has a slight micro bend as well. Good, bring your right hand down to your hip. Bend into that left knee. Reach forward about six inches in front of your left foot or six inches over to the left. And gently walk that right leg up to a half moon balancing through that posture. The foot that's back behind you is super flexed, giving you some stability. I've got a slight bend into my left knee and maybe my right hand stays on the hip if you're challenging your balance or maybe you want a little extension towards the ceiling. This is called half moon. Good. If you really feel like challenging yourself, Maybe your hands come to heart center. Yeah. Extending back out. Good, bring your right hand to your right hip. Bend into that left knee. Gently step it back to a warrior two. And hands bring that front foot. Step back to a high plank. Lower halfway or all the way to the ground. Inhale up, up dog or cobra. Exhale back, down dog. Whew, made it. Good, on the inhale, look between your hands. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale up, up dog, or half, half leg. Exhale, back bend, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive up, palms press. Exhale, hands down by your hips. And from here, we're gonna come into a couple of balancing poses really quick. Another one is actually really good. One's great for the hips and the other one is great for the shoulders. So for those of you that are familiar with Eagle, 
Go ahead and bring your arms super wide and give yourself a nice big hug with your right hand underneath your left. I'm sorry, your right elbow underneath your left elbow. Good, giving yourself a nice bear hug. And then releasing your hands so that they wrap towards one another. Good, sink down into your hips. And shift your weight over into your left foot. Just bring your right leg up and over. Maybe it stays here. Maybe you can hook it back behind your left leg. Called Eagle Pose. Good, you can bring your hands up. Or your elbows up. For some of you, maybe this means perching your eagle, kind of leaning it forward, really challenging your balance. Good, and coming back up through center. Go ahead and release everything out. Fly it open. And then shake it out. Should feel a nice rush of all that blood back to those limbs. Good, hands wide. This time, left hand, or left elbow underneath right, giving yourself a nice bear hug. Good, releasing your hands. I'm hoping I got this the right way. <laughs> if I didn't, please do the reverse. <laughs> Good, and coming into a nice squat position, bring your left foot up and over, your left leg up and over your right, maybe staying there, maybe it hooks back behind right calf, bringing your arms up, maybe towards the ceiling a little bit more, there's a nice opening in those shoulders, and maybe you perch your eagle, landing your elbows onto your knees, good, and coming back up to center, inhale, open up your arms, your legs, walking it out a little bit, feeling that nice brush of blood. Good. Good. Now at this time, bring your hands toward your hips. We're going to go into tree pose. Steady yourself into your, balance yourself onto your left foot. Maybe your right foot comes to the inside of your ankle for kickstand. Maybe it comes to the inside of your calf. Or maybe it comes onto the inside of your thigh. But whatever you do, do not let it sit right on your knee and put pressure there. Good. Maybe bring, bring your hands to heart center. Try to find a point of focus in front of you that you're not moving. Something you can softly gaze at and steady yourself. Good. Maybe you grow your branches up. Hands overhead. Maybe rotating through your wrists. Going both directions. Great, hands back down through heart center, and release your right leg down to the ground. Shake it out. Awesome. Switching onto the other side, go ahead and transfer your weight into your right leg. Hands can come to your hips. Left foot can come as a kickstand, or it can come to your calf, or maybe to the inside of your thigh. Again, just avoiding pressure, direct pressure onto the knee. Hands through heart center. Finding a point of gaze in front of you that's not moving. Trying to get as still as possible. And if you fall out, that's totally fine. Just come right back in. Good, and on an inhale, grow your branches. In this pose, there's something difficult as it can be for your balance. Find it super calming and soothing. You're supposed to be finding going down. Good. Bring your hands back to your heart center. Release your left leg down to the ground. Push your hands down by your sides. Roll your shoulders down your back. Well done, everyone. Good, come to the top of your mat. Toes touching, heels slightly apart. On an inhale, bring your arms out and up, palms press. Exhale, swan dive forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands plant, step back to a down dog. Good. From here, you actually might wanna quickly grab your 
a blanket or something to prop underneath. We're going to go into pigeon pose. Do a little bit of a hip opener. Good. So from down dog, raise your right leg towards the sky. And exhale, bring it forward to your right wrist. So your right elbow to your, I'm sorry, right knee to your right wrist. And I mean, the deal is eventually you can work your right ankle towards your left wrist. Or I like to have my knee at a little like 45 degree angle. So I'm also going to glance back and make sure that that left extended leg is nice and straight. And as you can see, I have quite a bit of room between my hip and the ground. And if that's the case for you, you want to grab that pillow or blanket or something to kind of wedge underneath that hip so you can relax into it. On an inhale, I'll look forward towards the front of the room. And then exhale, slowly walk your hands forward. Maybe you stack your hands on top of one another, relaxing your head into your hands, closing your eyes, and just breathing. On most days, I can tell when I have a active mind or a present mind when I'm in this position because this brings your awareness to whatever's going on emotionally. It's kind of a nice check-in and a nice open opener too, of course. And gently walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Bend into that left rear knee, reaching back, grabbing that foot if it's accessible, or maybe using a strap or a sweatshirt or something to loop around your foot, getting a nice quad stretch. Good. Release that left leg back down to the ground. Walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your left toes up and gently push your back self back up into down dog. Maybe shaking out that right leg, opening up that hip, kind of doing a nice reset. Good. Maybe moving that blanket over to the second side. On an inhale, raise your left leg towards the sky. And exhale, bring it forward, your right knee, I'm sorry, your left knee to your left wrist. And walking that right leg behind you, making sure that it's straight and it's not off to one side or the other. If you have hip space between your hips, go ahead and prop yourself up with a blanket or a pillow. Inhale, look forward, broadening across your collarbones towards the front of the room. And then exhale, slowly walk your hands forward, coming down onto your forearms. Maybe stacking your hands. Just breathing here. And noticing the sensations in your body. Breathing deeply. Gently pushing yourself back up, hands underneath your shoulders, bending into that right leg, and maybe reaching back and grabbing that foot, or maybe a strap or a sweatshirt looped around the foot, getting a nice quad stretch. Good, deep breath in it out. Go ahead and release that right foot back down to the ground. Hands underneath your shoulders, pressing back up into downward dog. Good. Dropping your knees wide on the mat, maybe moving your blanket out of the way. 
and your hips back towards your heels for child's pose. Good, gently walk your hands back up towards your knees. Shift your hips off over to one side. And let's go ahead and come on to our backs. Rolling back, ease your hand. Maybe you lower your spine. Oh, that feels so good. Good, coming to your back. Go ahead and bring your right knee in towards your right armpit and release the left leg long. Should feel nice and open now, hopefully. Great, release that right leg, bend the knee to left. Pause here for a moment and just notice one leg might feel longer than the other. Good, bending to your knees. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Hug them both in. And take that left knee towards your left armpit and extend the right leg long. Great, release that left leg, let it meet the right, and notice maybe it feels a little more easy now, or maybe one still feels longer than the other. Awesome. Bend into your legs, knees towards the ceiling, feet nice and planted, rooted down into the ground, we're going to come into bridge pose. Let's scoot forward for you. Nice. Good. So from here, press down through your feet evenly and lift your hips up towards the sky. If this is enough for you, great, stay there. You don't really want to be looking left or right. You want to look straight up towards the ceiling. Good, and releasing your hips back down towards the ground. Maybe swaying your knees from side to side. Good. Planting your feet back down into the ground. On an inhale, raise your hips up towards the ceiling. And maybe you flat grasp your hands underneath your back. And rolling onto the upper part of your arms. Really pushing through your feet to raise your hips up towards the sky. I need you. <laughs> Longest tongue ever. Good, release your clasp. Go ahead and gently lower your hips back down to the ground. And if you still have your foam roller nearby, go ahead and grab it. We're gonna do one more inversion. Lifting your hips up towards the sky. Put your foam roller directly underneath your, your sacrum, so your lower back. Hands can be down by your hips, and on an inhale, raise your right leg towards the sky, and then your left leg towards the sky. Or for those of you that know what you're doing with shoulder stand, feel free to go into this now. For the rest of us, we're going to be in what's called supported waterfall. So many benefits in this. You're reversing the blood flow. Checking out our pedicures, or lack thereof. <laughs> Good. Great for blood pressure, relieving it. And gently bent into your left leg. Bring it down to the ground, and then your right leg down to the ground. Press into your feet, lift your hips, and remove your block. Good, bring your knees in toward your chest, hug them left to right, rocking. Awesome. Extend your hands out into a T, and bring your right knees over towards your right arms, and then maybe looking over your left shoulder, getting a nice spinal twist. Good. 
This again is another great one for sciatica. Good, and then bringing your knees back through center. Hug your knees in towards your chest. We're gonna do the spine and a little reset. Extend your arms out into a T or maybe goal post arms. And gently let your knees come over to the left side. Looking over your right shoulder. And then closing your eyes. Bring your knees back through center. Go ahead and hug them one last time. Make yourself into a super tight ball, including squishing up your face. Super, super tight. And then release. One leg out. And the other leg out. Feet can flop open. Hands down by your sides. Closing your eyes. Releasing yourself into Savasana. Gently wiggle your fingers and toes. Take a deep breath in. And out through your mouth. Stretch your arms overhead. Bend them to your legs. And rock over onto your right side using your right arm to support you. Pausing here for a moment. And using your arms to support you, keeping your eyes closed. Push yourself back into a seated posture. Bring your hands to heart center. Loka Samasta Suki no Babantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. And may my thoughts, words, and actions contribute in some way to the happiness and freedom for all. Hariyom Om Tatsa. Thank you everyone for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you like this video, please let us know in the comments below. If you want other amazing things that we can do for your body, just let me know. Namaste.